Today is vlog day 1014. Good morning and welcome to day 14 of my 20 and 20 in Paris to be spent in the underrated 14th. Why do I say it's underrated? I don't know, I'm just trying to be generous to it. There's not a lot to do in the 14th. There is a surprise today though. Hexagon, one of the local roasters here in Paris, actually has their own coffee shop in the 14th, which plugs a hole for me in the 14th because I didn't think there was any good coffee in the 14th. We're gonna go prove that wrong right now and demonstrate that the 14th truly is underrated. And after that, there's not a lot to see or do. It's a very big arrondissement. Doesn't have a lot going on. The one thing it would have going on, catacombs, which maybe we'll wander by, but as I found out when I went online to try to buy tickets the other day, is sold out into next week. So if you're going to go to the catacombs, Learn from me, buy your tickets well in advance online because there's not a guarantee you're gonna be able to get in. But that's okay, we'll make a whole video about that some other time. Today, I'm gonna grab coffee and then just go for a stroll through the 14th, maybe do an invader hunt. Laura said she wanted to join me and try to find some invaders, so we'll try to go and find some invaders as we go. See what we can suss out, hopefully up those points because I'm closing in on Tribe A Team. If you know Paul from the Peloton, his family is leading the pack in total number of invaders found and uh, I'm closing that gap. And today, if we do a good job of it, could be the day that I take the crown away from them. So let's see how that goes. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a coffee here. Let's find Hexagon, it should be around here somewhere. And then we'll continue on from there. Wi-Fi just so you know if you ever come to Hexagon and the Space Invader that looks like my Space Invader is not a real Space Invader. They can't all be real. Anywho, we're gonna go walk and see what the 14th has to offer, which is largely I think going to be tranquility. Their coffee is as good as I've had it elsewhere. It was nice to go and get it served straight from them. I don't know where they do their roasting, but it's exciting to see more and more roasters in Paris and I hope that they start taking, taking on the world. Just like we're gonna take on the 14th, huzzah! Yes. I got nothing, <laughs> I'm so tired. So we just learned from Rue, the uh, Irish gravekeeper. What would you call somebody who works in a, in a graveyard? Groundskeeper, I suppose, I suppose he's a groundskeeper. He's a tombskeeper. This is a windmill, this is the old windmill back when these were farms. That's where they used to grind the wheat and everything into flour. After Napoleon first started killing lots of people, this is where they first buried somebody and turned it into a cemetery when it was outside of Paris, when it was south of the city. Which a number of the bigger cemeteries in the city are actually, or were actually started when they were outside the city. Keep all those dead people away, and now the living have moved out to live around them. That's my whole story. Anyways, we're gonna go see another very famous tomb, sort of, the catacombs, just to show you. Not that we're, we can't go in today, like I said, but after that, walk down to see Parc Montsouris, another park I've never seen before. And just taking advantage of exploring the 14th, because I don't spend any time here pretty much ever. Not an insignificant line to get into the catacombs. I'm actually glad we're not going in there today. I'm not gonna lie. 
From here, you're gonna walk to Mont Souris, which is a park I've never been to. Take a stroll through that. We have found zero space invaders so far. Wildly disappointing. We figured there should be some around here, near the catacombs, right? Boo Ernst. Oh, come on, man. Killing me. That'll put a spring on The day is not lost, hooray. If it wasn't for all the construction, this little boulevard leading up to the park would be really nice. We are walking uphill. Lots of stairs going up to little hills. Feels like there'd be a lot to explore here. A few space invaders, which is good. Feeling a little bit better about the world now. See how this park goes. Might check out the Petite Saint Jean. Jean is supposed to, whoops. Jean is supposed to be joining us as well. We'll see if he does. Crazy birds. <laughs> Not just angry birds. And yeah, that's a nice chill day walking through the through the 14th. It's like a big park full of residential areas and, uh, and trees, I guess. That's not very accurate. Park is nice. Park Montsouris. It's a little bit underwhelming. It's not like one of the most fanciest, biggest, coolest parks in the city, but if you're in the 14th, definitely worth a visit. Come have a picnic. Stay away from the cougar and the snakes. That's scary. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go check out Tissant Shore right now, which is something that I've always wanted to look at. I was planning on looking at tomorrow on the 15th as well, uh, but I'll explain when we get there. Petite caveat, I don't know actually which sections of the Petite saint -Cher are open. I feel like there are a couple around the city and depending on the time, but as you can tell from the graffiti down there, it is accessible, even if it's not open. So I'm not, I'm not suggesting you do anything, but I'm just saying, you know. Anyways, uh, we'll stroll along a little bit more of it. Maybe there's some that is open. There's supposed to be something else around here. I'm not sure. And then lunch. We're thinking today could be the uh, the street food lunch day. Just something cheap and tasty because I don't have any recommendations down here personally. Maybe we'll find something. Also, these modern buildings, like look at this one. Feels like we're in Chicago. It doesn't feel like we're in Paris whatsoever. So we saw some people down on the railway. We're like, okay, maybe we can get down there, but all the public gardens are locked. And then there's this stairwell right here that leads down to it, which is locked. Bonjour. Can't figure out how to get down, but these are the stairs down. C'est possible à entrer le petit centre ou non? C'est possible, mais on va fermer. Ça a pas bougé? Ah bon, mon collègue il a fermé. Ah, c'est pour ça. They said that normally it's open, but their colleague locked the door, so he locked us out. But uh, it it closes at 5 p.m. is what they just told us. So we made it. We we snuck in by yeah, by asking some workers to let us in. Basically, I see no space invaders yet, but there's a lot of camouflage here, so we'll see what we find. It looks like this section is open for a, like at least a kilometer, maybe more, I'm not sure. Normally I'd want to walk uh, and explore this, but considering that my legs are shot from the last two weeks of walking around Paris and wheeling around Paris, uh, I think it's lunchtime, but we made it down here. It's really cool. I feel like that's cheating though. I feel like we gotta, let's go at least, yeah, let's go through here. Battery's about to die. I'm gonna go ahead and drop it off here. We're gonna grab lunch in a second, and then I I will film lunch with my phone, if nothing else. And I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning for day 15 of the 20 and 20 in Paris, wandering around, seeing random sights, walking on the Petite Ceinture. You never know what's gonna happen. Tomorrow might be just as unique. I'll see you tomorrow for that. Mm -hmm.